Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with the story that broke just as I was preparing last week's video in this series. NASA has detected evidence of liquid water on the surface of Mars. Using the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, NASA researchers studied dark streaks that reached down steep mountain slopes at several sites on Mars, including Hale Crater. The streaks appear to darken and lighten as the seasons on Mars change and the temperature rises or falls. Studying the streaks with the MRO's spectrometer revealed evidence of hydrated salts. The conclusion? Those dark streaks are downhill flows of liquid water, flowing during warm seasons, freezing and drying up during cold seasons. The dark streaks were discovered in 2010, and it's been suspected they might be due to water flows for some time. But these new findings, which are also published in the journal Nature Geoscience, represent the first compelling evidence that flowing liquid water exists right now on Mars. It may not be in the form of canals, as once imagined by Percival Lowell, but it's there. And for those of us who continue to be fascinated by the other worlds in our solar system, it's definitely good news. Up next, a newly developed device could help those suffering from memory loss. The device is a hippocampal prosthesis. It's designed to mimic the brain's natural mechanism for translating a short-term memory into a long-term memory, allowing users who experience memory loss due to a condition like Alzheimer's disease to bypass the damaged parts of their brains and form new long-term memories. The prosthesis is currently being tested using patients who don't suffer from memory loss to determine its ability to accurately mimic the way the brain naturally uses electrical signals to translate short-term memories to long-term ones. The next step is to test the device on someone who does experience memory loss to determine if it can actually enable the creation of new long-term memories. And finally, in some more memory-related news, a team at Oxford University has developed the first light-based memory chip capable of storing information permanently. Light-based or photonic memory would allow for much faster computer processing than we currently have. But so far, all photonic memory systems have been too unstable to replace standard types of disk drives. They also require an uninterrupted power source, or else the data they store is lost. That may be about to change. A team including researchers from Oxford's Department of Materials has created a light-based memory chip using GST, the material used in rewritable CDs and DVDs. The chip contains GST and a silicon waveguide. Intense pulses of light sent through the waveguide change the state of the GST. These changes can then be read later by sending less intense pulses of light through the waveguide. Multiple wavelengths of light can also be sent through the chip simultaneously, meaning the memory can be written and read at the same time. The paper on this new photonic memory chip is published, where else, in the journal Nature Photonics. NASA finds evidence of flowing water on Mars, a brain prosthesis could help people suffering from memory loss, and a new photonic memory chip could give computers virtually unlimited processing speed. That's the good news. Anything else? So you're done?